Okay, so after really looking at her team, I don't feel too scared about this fight. I did increase everyone's level again by one more. Less than what I was originally going to do. I was actually going to do two per fight. However, I think we'll be okay. So really, we're just going to get into the fight. I will talk about our strategy as we begin. Welcome, my name is Glacia of the Elite Four. I wonder what type of Pokemon she uses. I travel from afar to Hoenn so that I may own my ice scales. Well, I've seen her challenges by weak trainers in their Pokemon. What about you? Well, okay, Boomer. It would please me to no end. Oh my. If I could go all out against you. Well, here we go. Time to go all out. So, first off, Celio. Celio is part water, so Thunderbolt is going to be double effective. I think we can one shot with Thunderbolt. It has the ability Thick Fat, which has the damage from fire type moves and something else. Royal Rin has Sheer Cold, and Sheer Cold is a nice type move. However, if it goes off, you know what? Scratch all that, because Sheer Cold only works if your opponent is a lower level than you. Uh, I do worry about her Glalie. She has two of them. Their levels are different, so I'm going to know which one is which immediately. However, one of her Glalies has Explosion. Oh no. Okay, one shot. And she is going to bring out... Glalie. Okay. And it's going to be the one with explosion. I'm calling it now. Uh, so what should I do? Hmm. You know what? Lobby, you're coming out. Now, hopefully, we're faster than Glalie. I know Glalie's not super fast, but it's also not super slow. Actually, you know what? Flamethrower might be enough. Wait a minute. I just realized something. This isn't the Glalie that has Explosion. You know what? Flamethrower. We are faster. It's good. And we one shot. I feel a little better now. Because when she brings out her Glalie that has Explosion, I am going to assume we will still be faster. Welrin, uh, you don't really have any moves. Well... I mean, you could do a lot of damage still. Just trying to think, should I try to do a Thunder? Or a Thunderbolt? Ah! Fuck it. Oh! What is with our accuracy? I feel like we haven't really been missing any moves. Actually, I think I missed a Fire Blast. Not during this fight. The previous fight. I feel like I missed one. Next one is Celio. She's not bringing out the Glately. I see. I think Thunderbolt will still do the job. See if the two level difference. And it doesn't make a difference. Well then, sweeping again, once again, with Elekid. Well, actually, Elekid and Lobby. Elekid and Lobby are the MVPs of our team, like, without a doubt. Oh, we don't want to put in a good amount of work early game. Same with Tyroscope, but Tyroscope is no longer in our team. Lobby and Elekid, their base stats are just so much higher than the rest of our team that, yeah, kind of goes without saying. I can't remember what I decided. Did I decide to do Flame Pro or Fire Blast? Hopefully we're fast enough. Here we go. Oh! Okay, I clenched a little bit there. I was worried that it wasn't going to do enough damage. But we did it! Somehow. Oh my god. We're almost at the end. And I haven't lost any Pokemon so far. How? I know you're probably all going to say, Oh, you're over level. Remember, I'm using baby Pokemon. Their stats are terrible. Even Lobby and Elekid. Their stats are quite a bit better than Clavclip and Eagles. And Oedama and Pichuchu. 
However, their stats are still garbage. They're really bad. Not good. No, no, no. So even though we're about 10 levels higher than the teams we're fighting, I... I still feel like this is reasonable. I don't feel like I'm too overleveled here. Anyways, on to the next person. I don't know who it is. I should probably check before we start the fight. He looks like a sailor. I think I'm more or less prepared for this fight. I'm very scared because of one Pokemon in particular. Drake's Flygon. Because uh, Drake's Flygon is Ground Dragon, so you cannot use Elecute against him. It just straight up doesn't work. It also has Levitate, so, uh, well, only move you really have that I think Levitate in this generation can dodge would be Surf, but. However, that being said, I actually think that our Surf user, Oedama, is probably going to be used in this fight and against Flygon. I feel like this isn't going to end well because I'm quite sure Flygon is very fast and we're not really going to be able to set up any X speeds because as soon as Flygon gets on an earthquake, I think Awadama might be done for. However, Awadama has Ice Beam. Ice Beam is extremely effective against Flygon. The other option would be to use Lav B against Flygon, and Lav B has a Steel type move, uh, Iron Tail, I think. Yes, Iron Tail. And we don't have any items that boost Steel type moves. I'm not sure if there are any, or at least not until like the Battle Frontier. Yeah, Fire type moves are useless against Flygon. If Lav B doesn't get it done. I don't think we really have any other options because I think Flygon's gonna be too fast, even with everyone at the level 64. And Aoidama has ice and also has Never Melt Ice, so it's a bit of a bonus, even though our special attack is still quite bad in the speed. The speed is what I worry about. Uh, Aoidama is not gonna be able to get off an attack, so you know what? I actually think. I'm going to use Lot B against Flygon, as horrendous as that sounds. And I need to hope that Iron Tail doesn't miss. And I need to hope that Iron Tail does enough damage to KO Flygon, which it, you know what? It probably isn't going to. I would keep Lot B out for a while, but Kingdra, Kingdra's going to be an issue. Well, let's just get into it, shall we? This might be really, really dumb. and might be the reason why I end, well, lose the Nuzlocke. I think I'm gonna lead off of Oedama. Set up some X speeds. And maybe, just maybe, if he switches to Flygon, we could get out a few hits. I'm the last of the Pokemon League, really for Drake the Dragon Master. Also, I just noticed that Shogun has Protect. Never mind. It's not reflect. It's not a big deal. Never mind. Ignore me. Granddaddy with no shirt on. Okay, X speed. Use protect. Didn't do shit. I just noticed we have dire hits. Put out a dire hit. Okay, Shogun's just gonna keep using protect. So oh. Wait what? Oh, these don't stack? Oh. Okay. Didn't know that. How many of these can we use? Huh. Uh-oh. Oh. Well, that didn't do shit. Speed fell! Oh no, we don't need that. What is the rot too much the lower speed? All my setup. You know what? I think we're good to attack. So, uh, yeah, I think we're just gonna use an ice beam. Oh. Okay. So we're slower than Shogun. That... It's concerning. Quite concerning. <laughs> oh, Dragon Claw. Uh-oh. Ooh. That did quite a bit of damage. Okay. Crit. Good. Who is she gonna switch to? Altaria? Uh... Hmm. Well, you know what? We have all the things set up. 
Okay, we're faster. Good, good. Super effective. Not a crit. Uh-oh. Dragon Dance. Uh, what does Altaria have? Okay, no Earthquake. Uh, hmm. Didn't do too much damage. Kingdra. Oh, boy. I'm gonna check real quick. What does Ice do against Kingdra? Ice does regular damage, and everything else pretty much doesn't do shit. I think we're just gonna try for the Ice Beam. Ooh. And that was a crit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And speed rose. And attack. Oh, lordy. Oh, and you're faster. Oh, goodness. And you're probably gonna heal. Uh, fuck it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, also they didn't heal. Also, they didn't do any damage. Like, barely any damage. I'm gonna assume they're gonna heal. I mean, I would. And they did. Smoke screen. I didn't know they had smoke screen. Damn, I'm about to run out of PP. More smoke screen. And a miss. Great. Stop with the smoke screens! Okay. Ice Beam did a good amount of damage. Oh, another Dragon Dance. Their attack is so goddamn high right now. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, so close. Oh. My god, please. Please do not hit me with a body slam. Surf. Uh, stop. Hammer time. Oh, we did it. Oh, hell yeah. Woo, how dumb. We're putting in work. Finally, Flygon. Our HP ain't great, but... Uh, we can't really heal. Oh, boy. Oh, we're faster. Good, 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 good. Ah! Oh, they're frozen! Oh, they're defrosted. Shit. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, okay. Uh, give me a moment. Keep up the pressure. She's gonna heal. He's gonna heal, I mean. Oh, I hit. Okay. Woo! Yeah, baby! Oh, those dire hits paid off. Oh. Owie Dama. Oh. You were great in the early game. You're great now. Okay, Salamance. Are we gonna switch? Uh, yeah. Awidama, you did good work, but I think it's time to switch out. Two Electron. Electron, I think you can take us home. This is the first time I've ever really ever used X things. Well, actually, no, wait a minute. I've used them before in the lock I've done. But yeah, they're extremely useful, especially with the limitations of baby Pokemon and their baby sats. And unless you want to go into a fight 20 levels over leveled, you pretty much need them. <laughs> well, at least for the Elite Four. Let's just hope Thunder goes off. Please don't miss any miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stop. Okay. Hmm. Okay, hopefully Thunder doesn't miss twice. Don't miss twice. You didn't. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Woo! Fuck yeah, baby. Oh my god. Did we just do it? We just did it. Oh my god. Superb, it should be said. Oh! How? How did we just do this? You deserve every credit for coming this far as a trainer of your Pokemon. Oh my god. I'm actually full of joy. I can't even explain it right now. You do seem to know what is needed. I I guess so. Yes, what a trainer needs is a virtuous heart. Pokemon touch the hearts of trainers and learn good from wrong. Go, go onwards. The champion is waiting. Oh my god. How did we just do that? Oh, Dama, you put in so much work. Holy shit. Okay, well, somehow we managed to do it. We defeated the Elite Four. However, we still have 
the champion. And I just looked. I thought this guy was water type. Turns out the champion is water type. Okay, so we have ice, a water, a dragon that also kind of also has water, and a ghost and a dark type. They're all not too spread apart type wise. I'm definitely going to increase the levels of my Pokemon a bit, because he has a Milotic, which is level 58. Okay, so, champion, Wallace. He uses, again, Water-type Pokemon, which sounds like a very easy type to deal with. That being said, two of his Water-type Pokemon, no Earthquake. One of them also is immune to electric type moves is Whiskash. Uh huh. You know, I've been saying a lot, uh, this fight is probably gonna be the end of the run, this fight's probably gonna be the end of the run, etc. etc. I think this fight is gonna be the end of the run. But you know what? We beat the Elite Four. I did. Well, you know. Including you watching, so by the way, thanks for watching. His Whiskash is potentially going to sweep the team. And if it doesn't sweep the team, whatever Pokemon he has after Whiskash, it's probably going to. Again, his Gyarados has Earthquake as well. However, that's not going to be too hard to deal with. Oh, also, everyone's level 68. I know, very, very high level. But the Whiskash and Gyarados... Uh oh, here they come. Enough babbling around. Time to get into it. Again, we've gone so far. We beat the Elite Four. If we beat Wallace, that would be incredible. Though, I don't see that happening. <laughs> Honestly, even with the team that we have, well, we started with, we don't really have any Pokemon that can deal with Whiskas because none of our Pokemon are grass type and our only pokemon that has a grass type move is clef cliff yeah now who can most elegantly dance with their pokemon in helen show me right here right now well lord oh he's a big boy oh what should i do what should i do i don't even know what to do uh... you know what i have a plan i think Hopefully this works. Put off an X defend. Water sprout. What's that gonna do? Oh. Oh. That did a lot of damage. Blizzard. Uh. Water sprout. Stop! 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 Oh my God! Are you serious? Oh, have mercy! Why is water sprout doing so much damage? Double edge. What? Okay, hit with recoil. Good. Uh, Thunderbolt. Ugh. Okay, good. I uh, wish we were at full health, but uh, Vegas can't be choosers, you know. Gararados. Ah, I see. Uh, I think we're gonna be okay, actually. No, I will not switch out. Uh, hopefully this isn't a bad decision. We're still faster. Good. <gasps> oh, okay, good. We're strong enough. Whiskash. Okay, moment of truth, y'all. Ah, uh, boy. I would feel more comfortable if we had full health, but I don't see that happening. And we definitely couldn't have healed because their Gyarados probably was going to use Earthquake. Oh my god, look at that face. That's the face of total destruction that's about to come upon me. Both of these are useless. Light screen isn't going to help. All there is to do, use a psychic. Here we go! Uh, oh, that didn't, didn't, uh, that didn't do shit! Oh my god. Focus ban. To save the day. Do... Same amount of damage. Oh! Oh boy. Well, okay. So, here's the problem. 
We're gonna be in an infinite loop here. Healing, getting hit by Earthquake. One of these is gonna be a crit, and I wanna lose. All that being said, let's just keep on using these max potions. Hopefully not get hit by a crit. Surf! Okay. Different. Problem now, though. So if we're gonna survive if we get hit by Earthquake here. Woo! Ooh. Fuck. in your special defense. That's why. Fuck. I know I'm not really talking. It's nervous. Come on. Keep it up. Oh no. Hyper beam. Oh! Oh! Ah, oh, shit. I only didn't have amnesia. Uh. Never hyper beam. That means we can get out of ice beam, though. We're doing it. We're getting there. Come on. Come on. Ah! Oh, you're frozen! Oh! Okay. This is good. We're out of PP. Not good. We healed up. Beated with cash. Oh, yeah. Tentacruel. Pichu, Pichu, don't fail me now. Ah, uh, Pichu, Pichu's hit points are so low. Uh, oh, it was a crit. That might not have been strong enough to have defeated him otherwise, but I'm taking it. Oh, Ludicolo. This is probably going to be a really bad idea. But we're bringing out Lobby. Mainly because uh, Fires does regular damage against Ludicolo. Ludicolo does us have Surf. So, uh, yeah. Fucking YOLO. Oh! Leech Seed? Didn't you Surf? Oh my god. You know, I thought for a sec this isn't going to be strong enough to defeat him. Like he was going to have like a sliver of hit points left, but nope. We did it. One more. Milotic. This is where problems are going to show up. Milotic is pure water. However, Electron is down for the count. So, B Choo Choo, it's all up to you, buddy. All up to you, little little lady. <gasps> My little missed. Holy shit, they missed. Oh fuck. Okay, My little has a citrus berry, and has recover. Guaranteed the paralysis. Oh boy. Still paralyzed, though. Toxic. In a mist? What? How'd it miss twice? What the hell's going on? I mean, I'm not complaining, but why did that miss twice? What's going on here? Oh. Oh, so close. 
don't, 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 don't. Okay, it doesn't fully heal. It doesn't do a full heal. Okay, then. Thunderbolt. Still paralyzed. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, boy. We're in a recover loop. It needs to crit. It has to crit. No, you're not critting. You know what? Dire hit. And it's paralyzed. Good, good. How are we faster than Milotic? Is it because of paralysis? <gasps> what the fuck? Citrus berry? Uh, okay, whatever. Oh my god. Are we gonna do it? Oh my god. A crit. Okay, the dire hit worked. Super effective. He choo choo stands tall. Oh my god. I, the champion, fall in defeat. That was wonderful work. Am I still recording? Okay. Oh, okay, for a sec there, I thought I wasn't recording. That was wonderful work. You were elegant. Infuriatingly so. And yet, it was utterly glorious. Kudos to you, Luca. You are truly a noble Pokemon trainer. Oh my god. We did it. Who did we lose during the fight? Elekid and... Uh, Clefcliff? You know what, Elekid? You served us well. But... Holy shit. At times, they dance like a spring breeze, and at times, they struck like lightning. It was with light, yet sure-footed elegance that you led your Pokémon. You and I felt bedazzled by your masterful performance. You now stand at the glorious peak of the Pokémon League. I now proclaim you to be the new Owen Region. Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you tell him. Didn't I tell you that you don't need to worry about Luca? You finally done it. I know, right? It's it's been a long, long journey. But we did it. I am shocked that we were able to do it. Most of this Nuzlocke only happened because of luck. There was some bullshit moments, especially with Tyroscope and Smoochum. Actually, you know what mainly Smoochum, but there was some bullshit moments. But somehow, by the grace of Arceus, we did it. I feel like if we were even a little bit too underleveled or not high enough level, uh, Focus Band, I can't remember when exactly, but Focus Band came in clutch during this. It saved one of our Pokemon. I think it was Lobby. Lobby, we almost lost Lobby. Wait, did we lose Lobby? I forgot. So you've seen 151 Pokemon and you've caught 11. I know, time to yell at me. I guess you're getting the hang of it, but it's getting harder from here. <laughs> Anyways, congratulations. It's 151 Pokemon. Same as the original 151 Pokemon. Well, we didn't see the 151, but you know what I'm talking about. Now go proudly into the final room. Now let me rephrase that properly. The new champion! Come with me. Not you, Brandon. You stay back. I'm sorry, but from here on, only those trainers who aren't garbage who have become champions may enter. You have to wait outside with Professor Birch. No need. It can't be helped if that's the rule. Luca, way to go. Congratulations. Aww. Uh, look at that reflective. This room is very shiny. This is where we keep records of Pokemon that prevailed through harsh battles. Aww, uh, we're about to see the lineup. It is here that the League Champions are honored. Come on. Just record your name as a trainer who triumphed over the Pokemon League and having a team of only baby Pokemon in the names of the partners who battled with you. Oh yeah. Oh number question mark. Oh what we didn't get to read. Ella Kid. Love B. Love Cliff. Hey goals, you didn't do a whole lot, but still. Oh Dama, you put in a lot of work. And P Choo Choo. Delivering the final blow. Look at them all. Look how small they are. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. We did it. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Time. 131 hours. Well, that's a little over the top. Again, we trained sort of on fast forward. So take a lot of that time with a grain of salt. But... We definitely put a lot of time into that. I would say probably half that time was actual focus on the game. But we did it. Oh my god.
We fucking did it. Uh, <laughs> well then. With all that being said, I would like to thank everyone for watching. Even if you're only here for the last video. You know, sometimes people do that. They skip right to the end. Especially with how I'm probably going to title this. You're probably going to know right off whether or not I succeed at the Nuzlocke. You know, the fact that I did succeed means I'm definitely going to say that I did in the title. But, yeah. I did it. Somehow. We got two shiny Pokemon as well during this run, which is n interesting. I think I've only ever gotten, like, natural. Like, pre... Platinum. Well, I guess the amount didn't really go up in Platinum era. It's just you could systematically catch shinies. But natural, like, 1-8,000 odd shinies. I've only gotten probably 4 or 5 out of the entire time I played Pokemon. Uh, not counting the two we got in this playthrough. We got two of them, which is freaking nuts. I honestly, I don't really know. I mean, we didn't train too much, I guess, because I modded in a lot of rare candies just to save time. Because if we didn't do rare candies, that in-game timer would have probably said like 200 hours. So, uh, yeah, um, I mean, there's not a whole lot more to say. This is a less play, by the way. This wasn't streamed live or anything. My next Nuzlocke probably will not be a less play, and it's probably not going to be for a while. I'm thinking maybe the remake of Gold and Silver, like Soul Silver Heart Gold Nuzlocke, because I've uh, only ever played Heart Gold, played the original Gold and Silver, but Heart Gold for like the first two gems, and then yeah, next Pokemon thing will probably be that and it probably will not be for a long time and it's also not gonna be a let's play it would be on twitch so uh yeah it's probably gonna be cut up a little bit differently you're probably only gonna be seeing like the gym battles on youtube and you know that's kind of how these videos ended up they ended up being mainly just gym battles as as time went on during the let's play i decided cut some things out commentate over some things you know but yeah we did it i'm i'm more excited inwardly than i'm probably sounding outwardly but <laughs> yeah thanks for watching everyone you're all amazing till next time bye